Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again for another how to cook stuff video. Today we're going to make pulled pork in a pressure cooker. Now it doesn't matter if you're using an electric pressure cooker or a stovetop pressure cooker, it's going to turn out really well either way. Now I'm using an electric pressure cooker. This here is the insert and this here is my pork shoulder Boston butt. This one does have a bone in it, but if you buy boneless, even better. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so what you want to do is cut this into chunks, all right? They don't have to be any real specific size. Just cut it into chunks, okay? That way it's going to cook evenly in the pressure cooker, all right? And start putting your chunks inside your insert. Now here's the blade bone and you don't really have to mess with that too much because if you're not good with a knife you might cut yourself. So it's okay to waste this little chunk of blade bone. Alright so sit that to the side and here we go. Here is our insert full of our nice pork meat. When I cook the pork in the pressure cooker I like to put a little bit of seasoning in there. In this case I'm going to take just some simple Montreal steak spice and put in like, you know, like a third of the bottle in there. Get a lot of spices in there. And then I'm gonna put enough water just to cover the pork. I am then gonna cook it for one hour on high pressure and do a natural pressure release. Okay, so I have my pork in here and I've added just enough water to cover that pork. You don't wanna put too much in there. As you can see, the maximum amount of water for this insert is 16 cups and I've only put 14 cups in there. Anytime you're cooking in a pressure cooker, just as rule of thumb, your liquid should never be more than halfway up. This ensures for proper cooking and prevents anything that could go wrong with your pressure cooker to go wrong. Okay, so our pork just came out of the pressure cooker and I gave it about half an hour to cool off so we can handle it more easily. So shredding this is now really easy because the pork is super soft. Okay, so you get two forks and you just have at it. And now we have pressure cooker shredded pork or pulled pork, same thing. All right guys, so this is how I make the sauce for the pulled pork. The first thing I'm gonna do here, um, I have two bottles of ketchup. This is 20 ounces, so I'm just gonna stick it in there. Okay, I have another 20 ounce bottle of ketchup. All right, so this is some hoisin sauce. So I'm just gonna put maybe that much. So that's maybe like half a cup of hoisin. And here I have some molasses. And I'm not gonna put too much. Maybe a quarter cup of molasses. Now this is a spice mixture that I like a lot. This is kicking chicken. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in there. Just some plain white vinegar. Two tablespoons and some brown sugar. So I would say maybe three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and just whisk it all together just like this. Okay, then I'm gonna put it on the stove and start heating it up. All right guys, so we got the sauce nice and hot now as you can see. So remember this shredded pork mixture we got here? So now you can start adding that to the sauce. All right, so just add this to the sauce. All right, then we're gonna start mixing this all together, getting it nice and hot. All right, so just nice and easy, get your tongs, and just start working this mixture together just like this. Getting it all mixed together. All that beautiful fat from the pork and that nice sugary sauce will start mixing together all the flavors coming together. All right, next up I'm gonna to toast some buns and some butter here. Get them all nice and toasty. 
All right, and now we're going to the plate. Let's put this nice sandwich together. Okay, got some pulled pork here. Oh, look at that. Nice and hot. Get some pulled pork piled up in there. And what's a pulled pork sandwich without a little bit of coleslaw on top? Or in this case, a lot of coleslaw. And a little bit of color. And I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of this nice smoky ranch. Look at that. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to be privy to the next videos that we have coming up. Alright, and my favorite part where I get to eat it. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, what's more satisfying than smushing down a sandwich?